take this bad boy here. See what we got. We some go getters. Ain't no need of waiting around. Gotta go get it. Feel good down here. I think they said the upstairs, 7373. Yeah, I think it's the upstairs. Yeah, it's warm up here. It is blowing. So I'm probably gonna be outside somewhere. Yeah, we got 85. Set for 72 cool lids on. See if I can see where that condenser is. That disconnect out, say second. It's an old unit here. Yep. Somebody took the disconnect out. So. I have a compressor issue here. That is engaged. Now they need, they, they need a new unit. If it's the compressor, it ain't happening. But we'll see.
I'm try trying to give you the CH back people. That might be a little better for you right there. We don't have any power. Let me check the ground. And of course, you can check the compressor the ground. I know a lot of people say take isolate that compressor, but first I like to check mine with the wires on. Then if I get anything, then I isolate the, comp the compressor. But, if, but I'm not getting anything in the ground right now. That's ground right there. Yeah, and if I was getting some right here, I know a lot of people left a comment on one video say isolated compressor, but I wasn't even on a compressor uh, cooling car. It was just a wire had broke off of, so you ain't gotta check the compressor every time. But I don't see nothing in the ground. But if I if I found uh, any little inkling that it was grounded, I would uh, dig deeper into it. But, uh, I mean, I can do an insulation test. Or I can take the top off and, uh, and, uh, check the compressor, but I don't, I don't think it's grinding. Look like my problem right here. Oh, you can see this. This orange wire from this contact is broke and it melted. That's probably the problem right there. And it probably was popping up, touching the chassis, tripping the brake or something like that. But I don't think this compressor grinding. Oh, my bad, I wasn't checking the ground, was I? I was checking this. Well, we know these wires today ain't grinding. I wasn't checking the compressor ground, my bad. I was checking the low side. Let's see what we got. Let me do it again. But I'm still not getting anything right there. Let me see, I got a black, red, and brown. Where that brown wire at? Got black, red, and brown. Brown wire should go right there. Yeah, but I think this is the culprit right here, though. So uh, let me see if I do got power even to the unit. Take it out and get it in there. I'll check that later. All right, I'm clean these wires up. Contact the engage. Ah. my gauges up too make sure we got some refrigerant in there so y'all it's the best I can do I ain't got no room to work with Check that capacitor too. it on there. Uh. 
I'm going to need some more wire too. I'm going to take this off. All right. The wire nut, this little pointed end, you want to make sure it's on the back of it because you don't want to peach between the wire nut. Man, these clients, they're stiff. I just bought these today. I lost my maroon pair. That was the best one they ever had. I think I got my Home Depot. That's a nice clean flush. Did I do it? Is that how I say don't do it? Oh no, it's the teeth right there. Yeah, but that contact is rusted though, man. I want to go ahead and change that one out too when I'm here, but I just want to see if I can get it up and running first. Let's see. Did it rusty good. I take a picture when I take wires off. You can read schematic, but sometimes schematic don't exist. But capacitor is easy. Some of them, all, all of them have four on them, but you already know your fan got two. And then, I think the Herm, what the Herm got three. Dang. See, that one got four right there. It's going. Yeah, it's like a rust. So two orange wires go on the floor. God dog. Everything rusted on this unit. Michael Fair, it's a 50 by 5. Where's my fan? I got 4.9, that's good. And then on my compressor, I got 47. I think that's good. Let me check. 47. They give you plus or minus six. 47. Take away and say six percent. 44. I have 47, so the capacity is good. Hello? On this, let me, let me be an old one. And I bet you that old one lasts longer too. Yeah, that one. And this right here. I'll take it off so I can bring it closer.
make sure I don't get them browns mixed up. Ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, defrost time I changed out today. Yeah, that other brown. The skinny brown, so yeah, it got it right. The skinny brown right there. I want to bring this closer. I'm gonna go ahead and hook my gauges up, make sure I got some refrigerant in there. And we're gonna see what it do. I'm gonna take this screw out. I stuck my leads in there, I won't get no power though, but I'm gonna check the brake. I think this R22. This connect got a little hole in it on that one. Yeah, we got refrigerant, standing pressure. 161. Should be good on there. Alright. Trying to see if I can see it now. I don't know why. I'm not getting any power. I'm not getting anything. All right. Make sure don't nothing look too crazy. So I can just bump it. Yep, let's start up. That's a winner. Look like a winner to me. I think I'm gonna change that contact out though. Just rust. I'm gonna put my uh, man tooth out. It'll be way higher than that though. It's going up though, cause it's like 80 some degrees up there.
negative 13 and 78. Something ain't right about that. I'm reading 19. Oh, okay. I'm about to say, I'm. If you get these gauges right here and you connect it to your phone, you got to make sure you got the same refrigerant dialed in on both because they don't. You got to change both of them because I had that one on 410A. I just changed the R22, but the uh, refrigerant stayed on R22. That's why my sub couldn't read negative 14 and my superheat is 78. Uh, so, see it's reading 410A on here. And I'm reading R22 on the gauges. I'm taking a look in the attic. But, and uh, it's a whole system. I bet it's uh, ORF is in there. So I'm gonna change this to R22. And, and, and now it should be reading correctly. I need to let this unit run for a while, see if I can cool that space down. And uh, I'm gonna call the homeowner, there's a troubleshooting call, and let them know that, uh, might well let me do a maintenance while I'm out here. Matter of fact, I'll just call now. Do real estate. So I don't know if she gonna let the homeowner when they buy it. Uh, take care of it. Or she wanna go ahead and take care of it now. Please enjoy this Verizon Ring Back Road while your party is reached. Garden, Gary Green. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you'll leave me your name and number, I'll get back to you just as quickly as possible, and I look forward to speaking with you. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. All right. I just sent her a text message. Yeah, it's 86 degrees in here. Here we go. Hello, it's Walter. Hey, this is Velvet at Better Homes and Gardens. I missed your call. Yes, no problem. Um, I'm a, I am at the address, and I okay. I got the unit up and running. Uh, okay. Had some burnt wires at the contactor, so I'm I'm gonna fix those and replace the contactor. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I see that you're in need of a maintenance on both units. Uh, I want to know: Do you want me to take care of that while I'm out here? I charge seventy-five dollar per unit while I'm on visit. Mm -hmm. Cause we're selling the house and we're about to close on it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Did the upstairs unit start working? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's running now. Uh, I, I just got it up and running. Like I say, it had burnt wires to the contactor, and okay. and the uh, contactor is rusted out. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a new contactor on there, and uh, uh -huh. I already repaired the unit and it's cooling. Okay. But I'm I'm uh, um. I need to uh, monitor for a while, just make sure everything running good. But uh, like I All say, right. it's an older unit and the coils are pretty uh, pretty bad. Uh, right. It'd be good for me to put a water hose on it, do a maintenance, clean all the uh, electrical up, and uh, you know check out the pressures, and uh, go in the attic and, and uh, flush the drain lines. Um, you know, just do a whole, whole maintenance on it. Yeah. Okay, well, if you want to, let me call you back in just a second. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can reach the homeowner. How much is it the same charge, the, yeah. same, the same trip charge? Yeah, yeah. That's why I say while I'm out here, I usually charge $100 per unit, but since I'm out here on a service call, I do it for $75. Just for, and it's all just all $75? Well, that's just for the maintenance. Um, I, I think uh, I had to look and see how much you owe me for the, uh, the, uh, the service fee. 
Uh, I think it's what sixty dollars. Let me see. Uh, and who, who will be paying? Will you be paying over the phone on, on card or? Yeah, to take a credit card. Yeah. Yeah, he'll pay with a credit card. Okay, give me one second. Let me let me uh let me see how much he owed me right now. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Okay, he owed me seventy now, and uh, uh -huh. so seventy times uh, plus seventy five. Uh -huh. Seventy plus seventy five would be one forty five total. Okay, so let me call him real quick, and I'll call you right back. Okay, no problem. Okay, thanks. Bye. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead, and if, if they want to do it, fine. If not, it's all good. Um, I do at least want to take a peek of the air handling unit. Yep, I already feel like it's been cool. Yeah, but I need to at least watch the old coil, flush the drain lines. A lot of people don't know it's really important to uh, flush the. Oh man, no light. I start charging for them light bulbs. I ain't bring my flashlight up here with me. I don't know which one it is. See if they got it written down on here. core access but it'd be excellent all right well at least i can flush the drain lines and uh there's no evaporator core access i'm not gonna open that up i clean the outside up real good flush the drain line and check temperatures and pressure but don't look too bad up here There we go. I hope that's my unit right there. This look like the smaller one here, those slab core. Cause this one over here has an access panel. Got an access panel for the core right there. I wish we could take the time and just write upstairs or downstairs on the unit. Three pole, 24 volt coil, one pole, I'm sorry, single pole. That's what I need right here. Ain't nothing wrong with this one right here either. It's brand new, just out the box. I'm gonna use this. 24. Yep. Use this.
All right, I'm gonna change this contact out and uh, wait on the homeowner. Give him about 10 minutes. Well, as soon as I give him about 10 minutes, Let's see if she's gonna call back. If not, I got 59. And there was an orifice, I think. Well, I sure ain't look when I was up there. But I think we good on it on the uh, refrigerant side. Super heat kind of high though, but it's like I say, it's real hot up there. Need to let it run for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and kill power, change this contact out. Rusty it is. That's a call bag right there. And I feel like it's getting real hot too. And I'm gonna go kill this uh kill that thermostat. Cause if it wonder why it touched that metal. It'll blow a fuse. Cause I've been now done that. Trying to blow no fuses or no boards. I just told the people that the unit was up and running. So I'm going to cut it off. It ain't shot me, but it's getting hot, hot. snug fit so the sucker won't pop back off
homeowners. Don't try this at home. I tell you, one little slip up. Like, like I say, you had a wire to touch something. Especially you got a newer model unit. You don't fry your whole board up. You don't have no air, no circulation. All the pros. Cause if I blow you blow, if I blow your board out, you will pay for it. But if you do it, it's on you. Hey, it's Walter. Hi, it's Velvet. Yes. I spoke with the owner and he said to go ahead and service the unit also. Okay. And he's going to call you. I'm going to send him your number. He's oh. going to call you shortly with the credit card. Okay. So if you don't hear from him, just call me back. But um, I've texted him your number. All right, that'll work. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Nice to be hot. I don't know if it was this, uh, some got some charge to it, it bit me. Look like it was there. All this needs to be cleaned up, though. That's how I know it ain't that hot. I'm Some guy, man. I don't know where it was. Alright, what are we gonna do here? Alright, let me get this over here. I know that capacitor got me. A lot of discharge. But I to the contact I mean the co compressor I want to see if I can fit these on here yeah I need to put some WD-40 on these Brand new though. Clan, I love you too. See, I got 
got the tube, but you need to. Put some elbow grease on those. some kind of way get on this other side Sometimes you can get stuck. One thing though, you can't be scared of the electricity. You gotta respect it though. Because you can't see it. I don't think these are gonna fit. I'm gonna go out to my truck real quick. See, well, let me see. I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm gonna split them open. Opinion for a residential too, but both on 21. See it? If you reading the schematic, raise back P4 real quick. Don't get caught up on the numbers. As far as I think I said 70 for the service call when I was talking to the uh, the property manager or whatnot. Uh, I guess it's a warranty. So the uh, the money that I'm doing for maintenance is just extra money for me. But I will build the uh, the warranty company um, for the contactor. And uh, whatever else I need to do, as far as if I need to add refrigerant or something like this when I finish checking the charge, but I, I think we're good on refrigerant. But anything extra that I do, like even like this, those, those spare, I, I charge for all that, uh, uh, all the extra wiring. And uh, for, for that uh, contact install, I think they give me $90 just for putting it in. And whatever the part costs, I mark it up by 20%. 
pretty much how I do it. So at the end of the day, I probably made like, let's see, 90 service calls there. I probably make almost $300 on this car right right, right here. It's gonna take me probably an hour and a half. If you've seen the video, uh, that was almost an hour long video just for me doing it. But I'll probably be an hour, hour, maybe two hours. Even if I'm here two hours, uh, I ain't, I'm not tripping at all. I'm on my own time. I ain't got I ain't got nothing else after this. Uh, so three hundred dollars in two hours or hour and a half, and I, I could have really did it quicker than that if I wanted to. But uh, you know I'm making a video too, so I'm really just taking my time. And then really when you take your time too, you, I mean you can just find things though. But I, I don't try to uh, as far as the homeowner though. I, I won't be calling them talking about you need a flow switch or you need a. Uh, crankcase heater or you need a uh something to uh, help your allergies out adding all that i don't do that uh i'm more right now anyway i'm more of a service tech that like to get your unit up and run it correctly i'm not gonna try to sell anything extra that you don't need i mean if you need a contact even that contact that was on there I, it, it, it probably could have worked uh this is it right here i mean it probably could have worked i mean by the end of the day if it'll be summertime and uh this thing can go out at any time you see the condition of it uh you see i checked the capacitor the capacitor w w was within ratings it's just rusty it, it just look old but uh as far as the rating go from the manufacturer specification there's nothing wrong with that capacitor uh the, i think it, it may be the original capacitor that go in that unit because that old stuff lasts longer to me anyway uh, you put a new unit up in here, that capacitor on that unit probably already been changed out before this capacitor right here needed. You know, but, um, so, I mean, that's what it is. Like I say, please like, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, and uh, we out. <laughs> All right, spec people. Real quick. Yeah, just wrap that call up, change the contactor out, fixed a couple wires, and um, real smooth call. Like I said, that's, that's a warranty call. Um, and I shared the financials with uh, with you, you know, like what I what I get, you know, on some calls anyway. Some calls different from others, uh, and I don't mind sharing any information that I have with anybody. Uh, because ain't nobody gonna be able to stop, 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 stop my shine in a way, stop, stop my grind at all. Um, even in this area here. But the thing about it, I stay in a city with like five million people, uh, if not more, and it's growing, growing, growing. So it's not, it's a lot of competition out here, but it's a lot enough money for everybody, enough customers for everybody. Uh, a lot of customers try to get in contact with uh, HVAC companies and they be so backed up we can't even get to them. Uh, especially if it start getting hot, some companies, you know, set set appointments and um, customer call them sometime, hey, I can't get to you for two weeks. Uh, if that's a real good company, customer wait on them. But a lot of times, customers not gonna stay high for two weeks and they'll go find the small companies like me uh, that's just on the business aspect what I'm, what I'm really sharing and what I'm talking about but uh, like I say hey whatever information I do have I don't mind sharing it with you guys uh, I, I hope you benefit from it or uh, leave a comment and let me know how you will do things different but uh, but you, you have a lot of these big companies and uh, even commercial, I know a company that I work with, the sales person, they'll go out to a, a, a client or a potential client and look at their building and let's just say if this client have two split systems, five tons, a lot of times these commercial salesmen don't want no parts of that. They looking for the big lick, like big, big 25 ton, 10 ton units with several of them, you know. But uh, me as a small company, I scoop all that little bit up. And 
if you've seen some of my videos, you know, I install 10 ton units, 12 ton units. I, I do that too, but in this little small work, I'm getting it. That car I just ran on, that's a warranty car. Warranty comes do not pay much, but it's good money to me. But I'm not, I'm not tripping on the money because I like the marketing part of it. And the uh, warranty company that I I'm, I'm, I really deal with the most, they deal with a lot of realtors. So, I don't know if it's the law in Texas, but I think if you purchase a new home, whoever you purchase the home from, have, have to uh, give you like a, a, a year warranty or something like that. Uh, you know, and a lot of times the homeowner, They'll take their year warranty. I think they give you like a year uh, off. They got to offer you like a year warranty or they can buy it out on a down payment of the home or something some, something like that they got set up. And, but, but a lot of the uh, homeowners take the, take the home warranty because it uh, covers the AC unit, water the heaters, all the appliances, and a couple more things. But like I say, the warranty company that I deal with the most if that homeowner have that, uh, a lot of them don't renew them. Some of them do, but a lot of them do not renew them. So if I leave a good impression, if I do a good job for them, uh, a lot of time, you know, I leave my business card, or uh, you know, they refer me. I think a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that from a warranty company, somebody referred me to a guy. He a bitch want to change out his. I, no, I think he wants some Nest thermostats, but little th things like that. That I like the marketing part of it, because uh, this a people game too. You got to you know be presentable, you know you got to be nice, you got to have a good attitude, because all of them can go just fix the unit. You know that ain't nothing. Just go out there and just fix the unit. All of us, a lot of lot of a lot of us, pretty good at that. You can do it quick, fast, slow, however you do it. You know how to fix the unit. But sometimes you got to go the extra mile, you know, and make a, and that's attitude, smile, dress nice, look presentable. Uh, that goes a long way. That, because if you just fixing the unit, you average. If, if you're not trying to please the homeowner or serve the homeowner ever, you know, in every way you can and not just trying to get their money, to get them cool or whatever and try to sell them some, you ain't going the extra mile, you just average. Sometimes you gotta, cause we put on this earth for one reason, one reason only to me, and that's to serve others. Uh, and that's just going the extra mile, be nice, have a good attitude, you know. Uh, I mean, all of us want something. Yeah, at the end of the day, I want, I want something too. I, I wanna provide for my family. Like the big house that I went to, I wanna be able to live like that one day. So choice, I'm gonna charge, I'm not gonna do it for free, but I will. You go the extra mile. Uh, speaking of that, like that condenser unit that the homeowner, uh, uh, the downstairs unit, the unit right next to him, I watched that for free. You know, the coils, I didn't take the uh, the top off or nothing like that, but I did rinse the coils out thoroughly. Uh, you know, I mean, that, that, I'm right there by the unit, why not? Uh, uh, I always try to do more than what you get paid for. You know, that, that's how I like to look at it. And it's gonna come back tenfold to you. But uh, like I said, I just started this started video off saying I don't mind sharing any information that I have because it's enough out here for everybody to get. And I hope somebody will call me and be like, hey man, won't you do this? Or leave a comment and be like, hey, you should do this this way. And I appreciate all, all that, you know, positivity. Uh, anything negative, I really don't even condone. Sometimes I, I entertain negativity, uh, what my boy called trolls, or uh, comments, something like that. But man, I'm all about positivity. You know, uh, I grind, grind, grind. That's what I'm, that's what I'm about. You know, I'm keep grinding. That's like last last night. You know what I'm saying? Work 10, 11 o'clock at night. Work about. Uh, for my job, I probably work four hours, I think four or five hour overtime and still ran and took care of my customers on the side. I mean, that, that's what I'm about. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, the 
trying to take advantage of the opportunity in the lifetime of, of the opportunity. But uh, that's, that's it, though. I'm finna hit this road. I got 18 miles to go. And uh, I'm just finna chill out. Everybody take care. We out. Remember, like and subscribe. One more thing with you real quick. The same amount of time it takes to make $100 same amount of time it takes to make a thousand dollars so choose what you're doing wisely i'll try to break that down to you the same hour it takes to make eight dollars an hour it's the same hour it takes to make a hundred dollars an hour so like on that video i just what it's called i just ran it's hard made between maybe three and four hundred off this car it said it took me two hours. It's 60 minutes in an hour. That's two hours. So you make eight dollars an hour, which is cool to each his own. But it's still 120 minutes in two hours. And you make $16. That still took two hours of your time. Uh, you know, I chose to make 200 per hour at the same amount of time it's different levels to this and I got that from Magic Johnson because Magic Johnson said the same amount of time that it takes to make a million dollars is the same amount of time to make a billion dollar deal in that negotiating room that's why he picked and chose who he deal with I'm out while watching alright H-Back people